Hello wildflowers <laughs> and welcome to a little walkthrough, a little sneak peek behind the scenes of Wild Fairy Magic and how it is coming together now that we have bound it um, in this beautiful roses fabric which by the way um, there's only two um, journals left available in this fabric this colorway because um, it's vintage and can't find any more fabric anywhere so there's just two left if you want one identical to mine um, so yeah you saw in the last episode that we bound the pages that I've um, painted so far into this book and let's turn the page shall we <laughs> after the end papers which um, we chose this like buttercream yellow which I felt, thought was just so beautiful for the end pages and it goes with this lavender ribbon <laughs> it's very cottage core then the first thing I had here was the I hand painted um, just like with a watercolor wash a similar kind of color the um, buttercream yellow and my idea here was to put the title Wild Fairy Magic again in beautiful typography. Well, <laughs> that was the dream. And um, maybe some sunflowers or yellow roses or um, poppies would be beautiful, yellow poppies, um, all over this page. So that's coming soon. And then you might remember me painting this um, Ex Libris, I think it's called. I hope I pronounced that correctly, but the book plate for the first page. So yes, you might remember the episode. It was the episode on, hmm, I can't remember what I called it now. But anyway, I went and I picked some four leaf clovers, Australian fairy tale, that's what it was called. And I picked some four leaf clovers and pressed them and I made a little spell jar and I painted this page um, with the clovers and some anemones and bluebells. And then, yeah, I've just used my calligraphy pen to write, this book belongs to Nancy. So there's that one. <laughs> and then Winter's End Blooms. This was the first, this was the first episode of The Rambling Rose. And this was for in bulk. So, um, I wanted to paint a page to describe the signs of winter ending <laughs> and in bulk arriving that um, uh, these are called snowflakes not to be confused with snowdrops these ones um, they always pop their heads up in Australia at least um, around August um, and you know spring's coming and then of course um, different types of uh, jonquils, narcissus and daffodils um, and I'm still debating whether to finish this page off by like hand writing the flowers or just leaving it as is because I kind of really like it as it is it's very hard to decide <laughs> um, then you might remember the episode where I started sowing seeds for the secret garden and I I used um, oh, brush pens to create this lettering secret garden and yeah again I put some little daisies and hmm, other things that I collected from the garden my beloved um, violas or pansies violets um, and so on <laughs> and yeah I love that page it's probably the only one that I left white um, I really liked the way it turned out um, this one was the episode where I built a chicken cottage for my girls hollyhock and foxglove who I miss terribly um, and still have dreams of bringing them down here to Belladonna Cottage and they ate the ranunculus in that episode remember <laughs> um and we all decided as a team that i would write a little nursery rhyme uh hickety pickety my black hen 
She lays eggs for gentlemen, sometimes nine, sometimes ten, hickety pickety my black hen. And so I think I will use black calligraphy pen here. I'm still kind of hesitant. It's really hard for me to take that leap and hand draw my type. <laughs> um, it's one of the areas I'm not that confident in, but I'm working on it and I promise by the end of the year I'll have this one done. That was from Beltane. And then for Letha last year, um, actually I did another page for Letha, but then this was my summer trip down to the beach where I just so happened to, on a whim, decide I wanted to have a look at a house for sale. <laughs> And that's when I fell in love with Bella on the Cottage. So this one is really special because I also had a lot of fun at the beach with Dad. Um, we had like we did some filming, and he was like my assistant cameraman, and we had a lot of fun at the beach. Um, and I collected some shells, and the idea behind this one was to do a little activity where you, um, yeah, you just go sketching what you see by the ocean, peering into rock pools and connecting with the mermaids. Um, but what I think I'd like to do here is write, I saw a really interesting thing about um, weather magic, like what types of weather suit what kinds of spells and um, things like that. So I might write my list of like weather magic that I've learnt. Um, there, I think that goes really nicely. So it was like a Letha beach holiday page. Um, Lamas or Lunazard, that's this one where I just did this one recently um, when we set up uh, our kitchen garden. So I, when I trimmed the pages for this, I realized that I would much rather add some more like foliage and maybe other a few more veggies peeking in around here instead of leaving this blank um, originally when this was supposed to be a printed book <laughs> um, I I thought I'd need to leave room for what's called bleed so that they can trim the pages um, but now that it's not going that way <laughs> I'm going to um, add some more in there so yeah little tomatoes and things and I'm not sure yeah I might just fill this with more veggies um, instead of I left room for some printed type there so now this one was for well I did some other paintings for Mabon but I decided to put this in the Mabon section and what I I, I, I went all around trying to think what what um, quote or what poem to write here because um, these are the belladonna lilies that grow in in the garden here at belladonna cottage um, you will remember this from the episode yeah where the episode where I moved in um, when I, I said I bought a witch's cottage that was the title of the episode and I painted this beautiful well, I think it's beautiful, <laughs> if I do say so myself. <laughs> These beautiful flowers, um, I guess in honor of that move to the house. And um, the, I, it was after I took a stroll through the cemetery and it was, it was kind of really beautiful. And, you know, Mabon leading into Samhain was kind of just the veil felt like it was thinning and it, a lot about moving here felt to me um, like something I had seen in my visions um, many times. Anyway, see I am called the Rambling Rose for a reason. This is why I write scripts <laughs> instead of rambling on. Um, yeah, the quote I'm going to do is, I am out with lanterns looking for myself and now I've gone blank on who said it. I think it's Emily Dickinson. It's definitely Emily Dickinson, not Emily Bronte. But yeah, <laughs> I, I might do that in like white or 
yeah, just like a luminous light pink color. Uh, the next page was for Samhain. Um, you might remember me starting this illustration and to be honest, I'm going to give myself a little critique here and say that I really regret adding in the orange um, autumn leaves because silly, silly Nancy, it's a nighttime scene and therefore the leaves would be a bluish tinge. You wouldn't see the, the orange maybe like a gray even, but you silly girl, Nancy, it, it wouldn't be orange. So that's why when I painted it, I was like, wait, something's not right. It doesn't look right. I mean, I made this mistake when I was about eight years old. Um, <laughs> I did an illustration that was meant to be at night and I didn't know how to convey night. So I just got a black crayon and covered over the top of the black crayon. And obviously that did not work. And I rethought that and realized, ah, oh, I need to paint the scene in blues, like choose a color um, that reflects what that color would be at night, um, if that makes sense. So here we are, I'm 42 and I made the same mistake again. <laughs> so I may go and touch those leaves up. Um, and yeah, add some more things around here. Maybe some animals, maybe some like grasses. Um, yeah, waving or like wildflowers coming up here. I wanted to do mushrooms growing out of the tree trunks, um, but sometimes I don't know if I'm overdoing it. And then here I wanted to do the lyrics of a song I love by Wendy Rule, but that's the Samhain one. And then What's next? Yule, of course. And I'm just gonna pause it <laughs> and go and run and grab my flat plan. Hold, hold that thought. The flat plan, um, you would have seen in the last episode that I made this, um, where I just sort of sketched what I had so far and my ideas for the next, next thing, so. I wanted to do a page here with the Yule wreath and um, another, maybe just some, uh, uh, like a Yule blessing. And um, then the next page I have left blank is um, another in bulk page. And then I wanted to put a fire cider recipe there, which I thought that would be nice. And then this is the one I will show you shortly. Um, where I've just painted kind of a, a, an Ostara spread. So I will just, th I'm thinking I'm just going to write in my brush pens, hello spring there. And that, that will be my Ostara. And then what comes after Ostara? Then we have Beltane. I want to do, um, this will be all pink and I want to do strawberries and a bunny rabbit. And then after Beltane, Letha, Llamas, or Lunazar, and then Maybon, Samhain, another Yule, and then the final page. And that is that. <laughs> there we go. I hope you enjoyed that and it didn't go too long. And um, that is my first art journal and self-published book. Uh, there's just one copy. <laughs> it's right here. Only I own it and <laughs> you guys get to have a little peek inside. But next episode of The Rambling Rose will be our first journaling prompt. And I'm going to do the Llamas. Um, Luna's art page with some goodness from the garden and the journal prompt but I, I don't want to give too much away it's a secret but we're going to open to this page and paint something amazing together hopefully so I hope you'll join me for that and thank you so much for this bye
Another rainy afternoon I don't know what I'm to do I just miss you more than anything It's way too quiet in the house I'm just wasted on the couch Cause I don't want to feel anything Wish you'd stay Stayed here beside me This isn't how it's supposed to be Wish you I know the hour's getting late I shouldn't sit here and contemplate I just can't stop thinking about us I won't forget a single thing From drunken nights to Sunday mornings And how you smile at me how it's supposed to be Wish you'd stay Stay here right with me I can't shake that feeling That we said goodbye too soon Say goodbye to soon.